Hope you YouTube, it's Team Park Bazaar and this is Bazaar. good morning to you. It's Saturday. Big day for us in New York, isn't it? It is. If you don't know where we are, we're in New York City with the Lodge guys. Um, put a link to the last couple of days of vlogs. Today is a day of firsts. Uh, so today we are going to head down to um, to the south. Um, I forget it's down near... Business district. Business district down near the um, Battery Park and get a helicopter ride over the city. Neither of us have ever done that before. Done helicopter rides, but never over the city. And then um, we're going to get part of the city pass that we talked about in the previous vlog, where you get like 10 or 12 attractions for one price ticket. We are going to go to Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty. We've seen it from afar, mm. but we've never actually been to the Statue of Liberty. Um, I think it's a two or three hour trip um, on a ferry across there. So we're looking forward to that. We're heading back here to the um, hotel after that to get changed and then we have a show on Broadway which is the real reason that we came here yeah, in the first place which is from the UK um, it's play the play gone wrong group who are doing Peter Pan gone wrong Maxine's is going to put up with me going to see that and that should wrap the day up for us here so join us it's going to be a very busy day very exciting day looking forward to it last day with the lodge guys because they'll be um, disappearing tomorrow we've got one more day in the next vlog to do but before i just just to start with i say we're both very impressed with this hotel aren't we yeah it's very nice the rooms are really really big which surprised me apparently there was there was a hilton in times square itself i remember it being right in the middle of times square that closed down and they moved it here right. so um tip is higher rooms you go the bigger the higher floors you go the bigger rooms they are it says online we're on the 32nd but there's 48 floors um, maids come in every day clean up don't they, they do. so housekeeping come in every day and clean up should yeah. say um, hot water is hot, pressure is good, and they didn't refill the tea and coffee, that's the only thing, but we could have gone down and asked. And if you're interested, actually, there is, excuse all our uh, vlogging paraphernalia here for charging stuff, but there's a QR code there, not sponsored, but if you want to, if you want to, uh, have a look at the, uh, details of the hotel, if you can get a deal here like we did, please do. We don't eat breakfast in the hotel, because that's too expensive. So come join us, we're going to hit the it's about half an hour on the subway, and we were taught by Lee and Nick how to use it. So we're going to pack up, get on the road, get on the subway, and meet up with them down at the helicopter place. Yeah. Let's go. You've gotten to me, and that's my mistake. So might say, I can't get to Look at that old that architecture, that thing, that's been a, a really old port building of some kind. I think we're both uh, converts to the subway, aren't we? Yeah, we are. For the price and the ease of getting around. I wish other subway systems around the world use that tap and go thing. If you know what I'm talking about, go back to the Travel Day blog when Nick and Lee showed us how to use it with the credit card. Wonderful system, wish other people would do that. We've got to be here half an hour early, 10.30 for an 11 o'clock flight. They will weigh everybody because they have to do weight and balance in a helicopter. And then it's only about 15 minutes, I think. So we'll film what we can and uh, show you our flight experience. I think I can see the ballast down here for the helicopter to keep it level. Yeah. Which one do you think is going to be the heavier one to put on? Well, I don't know. 
Oh. Really? Really. I'm just trying to work out I'm just trying to work out which of the ballast will go in the back for us two. I'd like to face forward if possible. <laughs> or it'll be good, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Oh, got your uh, well, you prepared now. While on the ramp, make sure you stay within the yellow lines when near the aircraft. All hats, scarves, or any loose items that could fly into the rotor system prior to boarding. Do not raise your arms above your head. Pretty good. Where are you from? England? Yeah, that's over there. Yeah, we might be able to see that when we get up in the air. How about you guys? Where are you from? UK as well. Great guys. First time in a helicopter? Yeah. No. No first. No, it's my second time, so don't worry. <laughs> we'll get this figured out. I'm just kidding. Pretty nice day out there, guys. Let's yeah. go see the sights. All right, guys. Here we go. Do you see the big bridge in front of us? Yeah, that's called the Brooklyn Bridge. That's probably the most famous bridge in the world. Brooklyn Bridge. And then uh, if you look off to the uh, right over there, you're going to see Brooklyn, New York. The borough of Brooklyn. Largest of the five boroughs. So we're going to check out the Statue of Liberty now. Now the statue, this was a gift from France back in 1884, as a gesture of friendship between our two countries. Now you see the statue is kind of a green color. Well, that's because it's made of copper. It's been outside for many years in the rain and the moisture, and that has developed a thin green layer of corrosion on there, and that's why it's uh, kind of a mint green color. I think it's prettier that way, though. Anyway, there's the breeze. Off, aren't we, Max? You enjoy it? That was really good. Yeah. Hopefully, you got the audio there. I got my uh, little microphone I use on the plane and stuffed it in the uh, stuffed it in the headset to try and get the audio. Look at these. They've got greenhouses, but they're actually it's a restaurant where you eat out. It's called Industry Kitchen. It's pretty cool. With all that, I think we saw that online, didn't we? Yeah. So I think Nick and Lee enjoyed it. They're just doing their vlog vlog thing over there. But yeah, it was uh, expensive, but I think worth the trip. Yeah. I just saw some um, spectacular sights, aren't they? 15 minutes we're up, 15 minutes, I would say. like 15 minutes. No, well, you just, you just, well, you saw where we went. We went down, down the river, past Manhattan, swung around and came back in. All you can do in 15 minutes, isn't it? Yeah. There were five of us, as you saw in the copter, uh, sorry, six of us, two in the front, us four in the back, and we managed to get the two window seats to get some shots. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, very pleasant. I um, advise if you got the money, again, we weren't, we wouldn't have done this if Nick and Lee no. were here, would we? Because, uh, because it's a little uh, pricey. Expensive. But they wanted to do it, so we, uh, mm -hmm. We said we'd pop along with them, and I'm glad we did. Yeah, it was good. good. So we're going to grab a bite to eat now, grab a coffee. We have about an hour and a half before we go over to um, Staten Island, 
and the Statue of Liberty, as you saw when um, we flew over that um, with the helicopter. Again, something new we've not been to before. So let's head on for a coffee, I think. Yeah, I'm hungry. Hungry, eh? Yeah, I need some breakfast. Survived. Survived. We survived. Yeah, that were good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. That were brilliant. Yeah. So we've got a friend here, one of their patrons, who's uh, showing them around the uh, uh, Nick and Leah meeting up and uh, going to show us some of the local places to go and eat and have a drink. So heading into this marketplace, it's called the Tin Building. I see uh, Lee's taking a picture of it. The Tin Building. An arty shot. Arty shot. Be a very arty person and a gentleman. You've, you've just made Nick so happy. <laughs> I can just I look at his face. I know. <laughs> His eyes are like a little chip. It's like Italy, isn't it? In, um, very much like Italy in, um, we've been to in Las Vegas. You'll have to beat that. Oh no, I'm keeping it in. Look at that. <laughs> His... Have you seen the size of the buns there? Yeah. <laughs> It's like Christmas time, isn't it? <laughs> His eyes are like that. Oh, it's a seat down there, I think. Yeah, come on. Then. Salmon, just a good out there, Max. You got the salmon? And I got what's left of a kind of a bacon and egg sandwich on a, on a brioche bun. That's where we were. Um, I say a bit very much like Italy. And then um, I think Lee got a sandwich as well. And Nick's has evaporated as normal, inhaled. I've got mine. Yeah, inhaled as normal. You got a what's that, a muffin? Yeah, banana muffin. Banana muffin as well. They got everything in there. They got fish, they got meat, they got cap. Bacon and eggs, got wine, got cheese, loads of stuff. Beautiful day, warmer than it was before, so we're going to sit outside and have these. And then it's about a 10 minute walk back there to the ferry to go over to uh, Statue of Liberty and to Staten Island. So through security, you kind of come down here into this white building um, down at the end and then you, uh, there's one ferry going and we're going to get in line for the next one. Just a warning, there's no bathrooms here. We all needed the bathroom and this building has nothing in there. So we're all going to hold it till we get on the boat. I'm not. And <laughs> Nick may be shooting over the edge of the water. And then you're kind of in this corralled area, which is people who've been through security before you actually get on the next ferry and the other one's on its way in. You see, and one going. So they're kind of going to rotate people around. So it look like, I guess, for about every 15 minutes for a ferry. Our, our time was one o'clock and we came through at 12.30. They do say allow two hours for security. It was like your typical airport security, everything belts off and everything. But uh, yeah, we kind of got through there in about 10 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. But just be aware, they say hi to summer, do allow a good amount of time. We're now getting instructions out to squeeze up against each other. So just announced there, you heard him shouting, um, boats leave every 25 minutes and you get a boat, we get a boat out to um, Alice Island and then there's another boat to the Statue of Liberty. If you want to go straight to the statue, you can just stay on the boat and then come back. Um, and last boat back is five o'clock, so you have to watch out for that. So this one's docking, they get everybody off and we should be on hopefully in about 10 minutes. Step onto the yellow plate, do not stop in front of it. If the, ramp, if the boat rocks, the ramp will too. Ooh, Max. Ooh, Max. Ooh, Ooh Max. Ooh, 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 Max. Then they go to Ellis Island, then it comes back in a loop every 25 minutes. The perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way. Somebody near is open for tonight, it's not too late. My mind 
about 10 minutes on the ferry to get here. Yeah. We're going to go around to the front and look at this. Apparently there's a tour we can do. You can pay extra. We haven't done it on this, but you can pay extra to go up inside, I think. And there's a hard hat tour or something. There's a couple of other tours you can pay extra money, but we just done the, we haven't got a lot of time really, because we've got to get back for the show tonight. So we're going to do uh, just the basic, what you would get on the basic ticket tour, which includes a, uh, a tour, what you say includes a. I think it was a 30 minute tour. Of, of this and of also this. 45 minute one on Ellis Island, I think. Yeah. They have a cafe on here and, and gift shops, and they do have restrooms on the ferry, as uh, we were glad to find out, weren't we, Max? What do you think they're Max? Wow! Yeah? It's bigger than the one in Vegas, isn't it? A little bit bigger than the one in Vegas. Than the real one. Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty. Just out here. On the island. With Manhattan over there on the skyline. It will show you as we get a bit further around. This is just like a walkway where you can go around here. Anyone's taking photos and Nick and Lee, I think, are somewhere over there taking photos as well. I'm just going to do a loop round and uh, get a shot of Manhattan as well. There you go. In all her glory. So there's Manhattan. That's where the helicopters were near the bridge over there. That's where we're going to the 9 11 memorial. The very tall building there is where we're the first day with Nick and Lee near Central Park. Uh, you can just make out there the uh, um, Empire State Building and the GE buildings behind it, what it is now, 30 Rock. So you can see quite a bit from here, and you can see uh, that's not the Chrysler Building. You can't see the Chrysler Building from here, can you? Building. To the edge where we were as well. Yeah, we saw that on the helicopter tour. So yeah, it's um, quite a lovely day to be here, isn't it? Nice. And that's where you're going to go over next to uh, Staten Island, I think. Ellis Island. Ellis Island, yeah. Sorry, Staten. Good job, I know where Yeah, Ellis Island. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So as you can tell by the noise, we are leaving and getting on the ferry again to go to Ellis Island. See so if we can get on this one and squeeze in. the boat at Ellis Island. This is the processing centre that they use for all the immigrants coming into New York City. Uh, we'll have a look in here, look at a little bit of the history. You know what the active years are? No. What are I, they? Just, I just looked it up on Wikipedia. Well, what were the active years? 1892 to 1954 and it processed over 12 million immigrants. That's a long time, 54. I thought it shut down a long time before that. Well, got into Wikipedia. Yeah. Fountain of knowledge is Nick. And when he's got well, his phone. Google, Google it. <laughs> Same as me. So we'll have a look at this place and see what we've got in here. National Museum of Immigration. What's the date? What's those... the date? It'd be completely different now. Wikipedia's got it. We're looking for those four key words. C-A-F-E. Cafe this way. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just going into the cafe here. It's a quick service cafe. Um, it's going up for three o'clock, so we're just going to grab something um, for our meal tonight. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go on there uh, and give a tour of the hall. What is it? So these guys have got a hot dog with sauerkraut and onions to share. Max has got a lemon pound cake, and I've gone for a vanilla pudding, which looks um, might be custard if I'm lucky. What is it? Like a 
ambrosia. Let Lee tell us what it's like. Trying to get the custard in it. Yeah, the custard. Beautiful. <laughs> get plenty of custard on. Cream's a bit cream, cream, sickly bit there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Definitely um, Ambrosia. Right? Yeah. So now I'm going to go and I'll do the tour around here that's going to look at the history of this building and the people that came through the building. And I'll give you a few snippets as we go around. So on the first floor you've got kind of the history of America up to the uh, opening of Ellis Island and the second floor is really the, the history of coming through Ellis Island and then there's another one which talks about post Ellis Island what modern immigration is like. So we're going to go to the second floor now and look at the, uh, the history of uh, Ellis Island. This is the registration hall where all the uh, immigrants would have to come in. They have all the desks here. And you see at the end they've got the desks where they actually... This is where they used to come in and line them yeah. up and they have the desks here where they used to check them in at the end. Yeah. First, this would be your first sight of coming into America. Yeah. What? No. We didn't have to go through this and we came to America, did we? Thankfully, no. That was probably a lot harder. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, apparently they used to do what they call the six second check where basically most people they would just give you a quick medical um, look at some paperwork or whatever and most people are in and out in about less than a minute I mean they were processing 10, 11,000 people a day manually so um, these were the desks that you'd walk up to <laughs> We're just saying that was, probably, that was probably a lot harder than this Passenger search, you can look for the American history. And these were the paperwork that you'd actually fill out. You're saying many days over 5,000. Another record was like 11,000 in a day. It still reminds me of, um, of um, Alcatraz. Yes. Very similar style. Thanks. That's what I mentioned earlier on the six second specials where they do the check of everybody, give them a quicker test them for a. Uh, any kind of uh, diseases, best they could in six seconds, but... Oh All the what? Buttons. Oh, Max looking at uh, your genealogy, yeah? There's one, two, three, four, five. Five came from England. Yeah, Button was uh, Maxine's maiden name, so she's checking. <clears throat> 1914, 1910. Radford, 1914. Maxine's checking the genealogy, scan that QR code, she's looking for her family. That was the hearing room where the hearings were held to determine if somebody was um, granted access. And this was some of the money they would exchange into US dollars from all the foreign currencies that everybody brought with them. Kronas, francs, dinars. We had to do a test, didn't we? To get in? Yes, we had to do a test to get in. Yeah, we had to do like a written test and a history of America test to get in as part of our... And we did we do, do an eyesight? We did a physical as well, didn't we? Physical, yeah. yeah. The check for TB and the check for eyesight and things like that. So some of it still does exist today. So we're heading in out now. You could easily spend two or three hours here, couldn't you, Max? Oh yeah, you and, and it's free to come over here on the island. You have to pay a um, like to the a ferry fee to come over. But there's no charge for coming in. And Ma and Maxine and Nick and Lee sort of scan that QR code on the desk. We've been trying to search family members with the same name, and thousands of them processed here over those 50 years. So we're going to head out and get the ferry and keep searching for all of uh, Nicholas's relatives who had to leave the country. None of mine. Nicholas is Greek, yeah. by the way. The first name, not the second. Oh. Yeah, Lee couldn't find anybody with his last name at all. His family obviously loved to stay. Loved, loved England. Or had no reason to get away, if you know what I mean. Or well, maybe you were one of the 120,000 that sent back. Right. We are back in New York. The uh, boys are running off because they're going to go to the National History Museum. So go and catch up on their vlog to how they go on there. If they make it in time, <laughs> they have about 45 minutes. So they've got to get a... Oh, you can't get through here. It's a pain. 
Right, they have to get to the top and get uh, get on the metro. Get around the cafe. And and we're going to head back to the hotel. We're going on the metro. We're going to go back to the hotel and get changed because we've got our Broadway show tonight that we need to go and uh, we need to go and watch. But we're going to meet back up with them for a meal tonight at uh, six o'clock in a steakhouse. So come join us. <laughs> They've gone the long way around. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you go the long way? <laughs> so we're heading out, aren't we, Max? Yeah. Heading out, I had a shave and a shower. I've had a shave, go to shower. Yeah. And we're heading out to the West Side Steakhouse. It's about a 10 minute walk away. Uh, I think the boys have made it to the museum, so we'll ask them how that was. And then we'll all get together and have our final meal in New York. So we're going to head down to 10th Street and it should just be down there. Yeah, so this is where we're going. Go we'll and see if the boys are here or not, see if they've made it. What do you think uh, Nick's reactions to the prices are going to be? It's going to go, what a lunch! Here we go for the Porter House for $119, just for two. It's a nice place though. Yeah, it's a nice place. Here they come. Here they come. Put, you that side Put your backpack behind me if you want, there's room. <laughs> no, I'll stop putting my feet. Oh my god. Oh. How was the uh, museum? All rushed. Rushed. We ran round. We saw the T-Rex, we saw the woolly mammoth, we saw what we thought were a raptor. What else did we see? Um, Crystal. Me, us too. We saw us too there. Yeah. A couple of old fossils. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so before you faint at the prices, and the bacon for, for two, two pieces of bacon. Oh, yeah, for yeah. Two people, yeah, yeah. So the museum was good? Yes. And do you want to tell my folks what you're doing tomorrow? We are going to Washington DC. We're going to pick up a car at uh, Newark Airport. I'll come down here because you got me on. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. um, I'll pick up a car at uh, Newark Airport and then we drive down to Washington DC. We've got a day in Washington DC and then we pick up another car and um, set off down towards Florida over the next week and a half. So you got a road trip, another yes, road yep, trip. Another road. A yep. northeast road trip. So tune into the Lodge Guys channel if you want to catch up on the northeast road trip. We're going to have, enjoy this meal and we may see you when you get down to uh, to Florida. Orlando. You're Basically, she's going to want the stuff back that's picking in our garage. Picking, <laughs> picking up his gear. <laughs> Because uh, Baza actually offers free storage. So if you want free storage, just drop in the line. It's amazing rates. Yeah. With mates rates, isn't it? It's mates rates, yeah. yeah. You, you just pay for the meal tonight. You may try and get clothes on, though. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I got the um, French onion soup. As of course you do with a steakhouse. Yeah, I think it's the chef. Oh, is that chef? I think yours is... Yeah. Well, that is um, pork chop. I want to eat all this. Look at that. Lamb chops. Yeah. I've never seen a New York, New York style um, steak strip that thick before. In fact, it's got, it's got depth perception if I put it on the camera. Do you want your pepper, Nick? So, have we filled you up? I'm not eating again now. How was it? I'll have some tomorrow at Washington, tomorrow night. It was delicious, but I can't eat another thing. Apart from this beer, which I've not finished yet. I think we finally filled it up. It's been full day. It was real day. It was delicious, but I can honestly say no more. And I rarely say that. It's on camera. We'll be walking out like, oh, and we're getting a cookie and getting a cookie in the shop. Ooh. Yeah, but if we walk off, if we walk back, we're walking it off, aren't we? So yeah. never say never. Well, you've walked enough steps this week. Yeah, about, well, I'll work out what we've done today. About 15,000 steps today. We've been averaging 16 to 17,000. 16,392 steps. That's about eight miles. Which is... Um, 7.97 miles, yeah, 705 right. calories. That was close with 8 miles. Half of that was about <laughs> 900 <laughs> calories, so... And I guess your pecan pie was good. Beautiful. It just it was just missing some ice cream, it came yeah. with cream. But it was beautiful. And you enjoy your coffee? Yeah, it's going. It's going down very nicely. Right, we're going to wrap up here, we'll say goodbye to these guys, and then we'll walk over to the uh, cinema, maybe give you from the outside, they won't be filming inside. But we'll show you the uh, theatre, and then we'll catch up with you uh, once we finish the show. About 10 o'clock it finishes tonight. Okay, we're off to the show now. We've got half an hour to get there, so thank you to our friends, the Lodge guys, for hanging out with us in the West Side it's Steakhouse. Been it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Follow their vlogs. They're going to go on a road trip, and we'll catch them in about two weeks when they're down in Orlando. Yeah.
Okay, so right. we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your show. Bye. Looking forward to it? Yeah. Just made it in time, didn't we? We did. We have two minutes to spare. Yeah, I don't think they're going to start on time. No, no, they're just starting to let everybody in. But uh, we'll catch up with you after the show. But well, we are back. You can maybe hear the sounds of the horns out on the city street or the noisy, but we, uh, it was a good show, wasn't it? It was. Really I enjoyed it. It was my type of thing, but even Max said she enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So it was, like the play, it was like the play that goes wrong. It was um, Peter Pan gone wrong, if you've watched that on the uh, British TV. It was 90% of the original cast as well. And they adapted it really well for the small theatre. It's only on a short run from here from now until July. 9th of July. 9th of July. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. It was um, very funny. Very, very funny. So we're going to wrap up today's vlog. I don't think I showed you as well on here. Um, that ball up there. See the, the ball that's sort of that split up? That one. Is it, which one is it? That one. That one? Mm -hmm. That is the ball that drops on New Year's Eve in uh, Times Square. When you have the, uh, when you have the uh, New Year's Eve celebrations on TV. So we're going to wrap up here, Max, aren't we? <laughs> Are you alright? I'm just looking at the No, it's in all the noise and everything. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Um, started off going high with a helicopter. And then we had a bite to eat. And then we went over to Ellis Island and we saw Statue of Liberty. Had a wonderful meal with the Lodge guys and catch up with their channel to see what they're going to be up to on the road trip. Um, we are going to wrap things up here. Join us tomorrow for a final day. We're going to, we've got um, one more thing on our city pass. If you want to know about the city pass, look at the last vlog where we talked about um, what it is. We've got a couple of other things like check out and then we fly back to Orlando. So stick with us for the next vlog on our trip back home. Okay, appreciate each and every one of you. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Put your comments below and we will go make a cup of tea mm. and we will see the latter. Bye. Bye.